Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, welcoming you back to our live coverage of the one today Earl Anthony Memorial Classic. Patrick Allen, a pair of tight wins. He has moved on to the title match to take on Ryan Simonelli. Time now for our Geico Championship Recap. Randall? You got it, Rob. Match number one featured Tommy Jones, Patrick Allen. You see the pain Tommy Jones has to endure on a weekly basis. Here's some more pain delivered by Patrick Allen. First strike in the 10th frame. Sealed the deal. And in match number two, Patrick Allen takes on PDW, Pete Weber. Pete gets up in the 10th frame looking to put some pressure on Patrick Allen. Instead, he has to wave goodbye to a shot that was wide right. Patrick Allen needs to make that spare there. Almost chops it, but he advances to the title match. And time now for that title match uninterrupted. The leader earned two second place finishes last season in three televised appearances from Cheek to Waga, New York, the Ryan Express. Ryan Simonelli. This is Simonelli's fourth career TV singles appearance. Twice was a runner up at last season's World Series of Bowling. Improved all week from 11th after round one of qualifying to 10th, 6th, and now. Here he sits as the number one seed. Yeah, a great start. He just blew up that rack. A pair of lefties here in the title match. Something that you talked about, Randy. You thought lefties would have some success today. Yeah, and, and it's it's proven to, to go in that direction that the, they're able to play that outside line. It stays there a little bit longer, less friction on the left side. And so the way the two left-handers broke down this TV pair in practice really was the undoing of the righties. That and a couple of errant shots by Weber and Tommy Jones. Remember, remember Tommy o started his match against PA with back-to-back -back open frames. PA gets the seven to kick, and Allen telling us yesterday, the last year and a half, he was starting to feel that maybe his level was beginning to slip. Maybe he didn't quite belong at the level that he used to hold and this week he felt he was back in a better place the game has evolved so much hard to keep up with these high rev rate guys but when you have the experience of a guy like Patrick Allen checking in at 40 years of age and 12 years on the tour there's a lot to be said for that a lot of pins that that run with that type of resume well, winning cures a lot of ailments in any sport and Patrick Allen looking to join an elite group of with a win today, he will be a 14-time titleist, joining Mike Durbin, Dave Husted, Johnny Petraglia, Jim Stefanich, all Hall of Famers. Lay there. 247 leave for PA. And so the issue that Patrick is going to have in this match, folks, is that now he has to deal with the extremely high rev rate of Ryan Simonelli and how that is going to change or break down the oil pattern on the left side of the lane. Well, remember, PA made a huge ball change in match number one, which helped carry him through that game to get the win. He knows how to play. He knows how to be resourceful. And he knows That's how, how to you're to make that spare. So strike spare for PA. And now here's Ryan Simonelli from the Buffalo, New York area, Cheek Tawaga, which is a future stop on the PBA Tour. Trying to win his first ever Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour title. He ended last season in the top 20 in earnings and points and top 10 in average. Back to back, opening jacks for Simonelli. And now it's time for the Just For Men Live Forward Keys to victory, Randy. Well, for Ryan Simonelli, it, it's pretty simple. He's got to keep his head on straight. He's got to think the right thoughts mentally, manage his nerves, and the other is speed control. He is a high rev, high power, high speed kind of guy. The only time that I can remember him making bad shots is when he got over jacked and he threw the ball too hard and it blew through the end of the pattern. Keep his emotions in check. Keep his speed where it needs to be so the ball reads properly. Get up. Get. Bro. Early indications are he's in a good place today. Right now, just manage the nerves. Don't get too jacked. 
Continuing to make those kind of shots. Easier said than done. Tremendous amount of revolutions in hand. We normally see Ryan on the telecast throwing urethane because of that extremely high rev rate. This week was able to use reactive equipment. Amazing. Patrick Allen must call oh, upon all of man. his experience. Come to, on, man. To try and figure out a way Chris Carter. to beat Ryan Simonelli, the high rev, high powered youngster looking to win his first title. Patrick has to stay ahead of the breakdown, stay ahead of the moves. He's got to bowl a perfect game. Oh, good. Remains clean. Strike, spare, spare for PA. Oh, nice. Come on, man. It's fun listening to him. It, it is. It? I mean, some of the stuff that all the self talk, and I love it. A lot of a lot of players do that on the inside. PA does it on the outside. Come on. Tuesday. Keeps reflecting back to Tuesday, which was a positive day for him here at the lanes and trying to bring that back. And here he is back on the strike train. Right, and that's just a great break right there, tripping the 6 9 out. And you could see the high rev rate of Ryan Simonelli breaking the oil pattern down. Patrick Allen needs to stay one step ahead of the breakdown and continue to chase the oil pattern to the right or center part of the lane. Now, watch how fast this ball goes to the pocket. Come on. Leaves the seven pin. Boy, and with a rev rate that high, the last thing you would think Ryan Simonelli would leave would be a week seven, but a really good shot nonetheless, keeping it in the zone, online, and another pocket shot. Let's take a look now at the arsenal that. Ryan has with him today for our title match. Going with a world beater, the strongest bowling ball in his arsenal. And a lot of that again being the length, 40, 40 foot oil pattern, and also that speed and rev rate. He needs something that's going to grab a hold of that lane surface. Push. Okay. Okay. And again, Rob, anytime you hear a player yell push, it's inside of target. And they're trying to get it, or trying to coax it into holding the line. And again, that could have been disastrous, especially with that kind of speed and revs. His shot going through the nose could, could, could prove to be an ugly, ugly split. Instead, it's just a six pin. When you talk about disastrous, that was the start of the season for Simonelli. <laughs> Takes care of that single pin. He had three finishes in the 100s. This, though, his second top 20 of the season. That first top 20 was last week, 14th at the TOC. He said he really felt like he was coming around in a better place mentally as well. Going number, prop. number one seeds has been nothing of a guarantee. Yeah, I was just going to say the only problem is as the number one seed, they're only <laughs> at two and nine in 11 events. So. Um, not always the best position to be in. The most enviable, so not always the best. Right through the nose there a little bit for the Haas. Well, he just didn't make a good shot there and, and goes through the nose, leaving the 247. Patrick needs to make a move, in my opinion. I think he needs to open the lane up just a little bit. All it is. Spare up. The good thing is he's on a strike so he doesn't lose count if he converts here. Yeah. PA takes care of the 247.
Time to fire up the old RV. We hit the road next week I'll in New it. Orleans. Make that in two weeks. We'll be in Reno for the Bear USBC Masters live on ESPN Sunday, February 13th, 3 p.m. Eastern, the third major of the season. Back to live action as we begin the sixth. Just two strikes thus far for Allen, but he's only down 19. On. Simonelli started with a three-bagger, since then a pair of single-pin spare conversions. Wow, maybe. All right, good shot. Yeah, and Patrick is a little surprised at that ball going high, but again, that's all about what Ryan Simonelli is doing to the left side of the oil pattern. Still a tight match. It's just 20 pins. But what's troubling Rob is that Patrick Allen really has lost the pocket. Ryan Simonelli has not. Into it. A win today for Simonelli. He would be the third first time winner on the tour this season. Scott Norton and young Jim Koo winning earlier this campaign. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah. That's a drop and give me 10. I mean, he is pounding the rack. This could be the shot of the game. Come on. I want you to watch this follow through, see how it goes in front of his face. We see that a lot over the last couple of seasons with the new power players, the young power players. You see it in Michael Fagan. You see it in the two-handed styles of Jason Belmonte and Oscu Palerma. Anytime you see the big high rev, high power guys, you're going to see a lot of those follow throughs going in front of the face. Come on, baby. It is going to be tough for P.A. to find his way on top of this match. Well, if you're Ryan Simonelli, it's, it's all you can do right now just to control yourself. You know that you've got a great command of hitting the pocket. You know that your opponent can't hit the pocket. It's just a matter of pin carry and making good shots. It may just be a matter of time. Messenger nestles up on the backside, unable to drop all 10. He really needed a strike there. Yeah, Patrick Allen's in big trouble. Time for a ball a change, chance. angle change, and start to maybe open up the lane a little bit. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Just too weak down the lane. that one in. Get your bowling fix next Sunday on ESPN from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. It's the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Reggie Bush, Nelly, Lil Wayne, Pete Weber, Norm Duke, Jason Belmonte, and Chris Paul all there. Coverage begins Super Bowl Sunday at 4 Eastern on ESPN. Belmonte and Paul, your defending champs. Here is Patrick Allen beginning the 8th down 31. You can see he can only max out at 227. You know, Rob, he was so good at managing ball reaction, making the right ball changes early on. We saw it against Tommy Jones in the first match. And then towards the end of the Pete Weber oh, match, man. he started to lose pocket and has yeah. never really recovered. His max score now, 216. 
His opponent, Ryan Simonelli, is already in the 220s. Just two strikes here in the title match for Allen. Simonelli closing in on his first ever Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour title. What do you say? Yeah, baby! Mom, Janet, Dad, Angelo, Aunt Jody, all watching back in Cheektowaga and they are celebrating, and I'm willing to bet there may be a few tears getting ready to come on out. What do you say? Yeah, baby! Well, and thus far, just a flawless performance by Ryan Simonelli. Six strikes, two nine spares. The two nine spares were a seven pin in the fourth, a six pin in the fifth. He has not missed pocket, just making brilliant shots. And that's all he really needs to do right now, Rob, is to stay clean. He's in the 230s. All he needs is marks here on out. Six pin shy of a four bagger there. I'm sorry, a mark here, and it's all but over because even if he opens in the 10th frame, he'll be in the 220s. There you go. Ryan Simonelli is going to bowl the Tournament of Champions next Solid. year as a winner on the national tour. Solid bowling. He's going to win his first title. Keeping that sliver of hope alive with the strike. And, and you see that wry smile there. It's like, okay, well, this adjustment finally worked, or I, I threw it better. My goal today was to break 100 every game. <laughs> well, shout I did out that. to his Tampa buddy, Thank Tom you. Doherty. Thank you. I did it. <laughs> I did. Again, PA was cheering for a 99 last he, week yeah, he, for Doherty. He, he thought that it would be better if... if if it was just a double-digit number, and if Mika beat him by 200. A little more memorable, of, I guess, yeah, double-digit. I'll tell you what, I, I, Tom Doherty handled that beautifully, did he not? I shoot as well as anybody could. Yeah! Got 200 every game. Well. I got 200 every game. It's a little late for the trip six oh. double. Mm -hmm. Patrick well, Allen now in the 200s. Two more will give him 216. Where was this in frames five through eight? I, I think, you know, Rob, I, and Patrick Allen's a great bowler. I don't think he moved deep enough, fast enough. And it just looks like now he's playing a little bit more in the center part of the great, lane. Great got, to bowl with you guys today. It was awesome. I love it. You guys are awesome. I think he just stayed too close to where Ryan Simonelli's Hopefully playing. We get to come back next year. <laughs> but it's great to see Patrick bowling well again and back on television. <laughs> Simonelli needing just five pins for his first tour title. Stay behind the foul line, keep it on the lane. Fellow Southpaw, PA cheering Thanks. for him from behind. Cheap to Waga, get ready to celebrate. Ryan Simonelli, say hello to your yeah! first tour title. Thank you, Dublin. Thank you. That's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we fucking do it. Talking about that. Good work, man. Mom, Dad, that was for you. That was for you. Everybody back home. I love you guys. Shout out to Janet and Angelo, his parents, back in Cheektowaga. Tour title.
Number one for the Southpaw from Chictawaga, Ryan Simonelli, wins the tournament named after the legendary Earl Anthony. The one-a-day Earl Anthony Memorial Classic is brought to you by the USBC and its two million members. To find out more about USBC, log on to bowl.com today. By Just For Men Hair Color, live forward. By Barbasol, start your day with Barbasol shaving cream. And by Lumber Liquidators, hardwood flooring for less. The young man who grew up emulating Parker Bone III finally gets to press lips with the PBA Tour title. Ryan Simonelli, the young man from outside of Thank Buffalo, you. You. getting his first you, Lumber Liquidators PBA Thank Tour you. title. We asked him yesterday what Thank it would you. mean. He would say, he would go on to say it represents my spot out here. The last 20 years of hard work have not been for nothing. Next week, the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational at 4 Eastern over on ESPN. Before the big game, Reggie Bush, Nelly, Lil Wayne, Chris Paul will be there. Ryan Simonelli, a 24-year-old from Chictawaga, New York, claims his first ever tour title. For Randy Peterson and our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports so long from Dublin.